Nation. How you guys doing today? Hope you have an amazing day. Guys, we're going to dive into something that is quite a surprise. Jimin from BTS has dropped a new song for us. Um, I think this might be coming off of his uh, newest album coming. I think I remember seeing something about him releasing an album. So um, I'm really excited. And um, I guess this is... Uh, Probably gonna need a follow up after this one because this is called Set Me Free Part 2. So if that means there's a part 2, that means there's probably a part 1 if I know how numbers work. <laughs> so I'd say that um, after this reaction, if you guys want me to uh, react to whatever I guess Set Me Free is probably what it's called, then um, I'll react to that one also. And then um, it might be a little bit backwards and hopefully there's nothing like, I needed to know for part 1 to understand part 2. Um, if so, then you know. I'll put, I'll put the puzzle pieces together at some point. <laughs> but anyways, guys, let's go ahead and dive into this. I'm really excited. I love Jimin. I love all BTS. So, um, yeah, let's just do it. All right. Jimin, what you got for us, bro? Let's do this. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, I, I can't wait because I love I love his unique voice. It always, it's like, ah, oh, it's just so good. Okay, I, I'm so ready. Let's go. Oh, it's early. <laughs> Ooh. Production though, let's go. This choreography's nuts. There he is. Hey, what's up? <laughs> okay, let's go. just little things like that too oh my gosh i'll go back just a little bit here this part here you can see the way he dances i'll go back and show you of course but you can see like the way he's dancing he can somehow throw in a dance move that allows his shirt or well i guess it's more like a jacket his jacket to fall down his shoulder and he comes back in the dance move flips it right back up flawlessly it's insane how like some of these k-pop like idols can do that like sometimes the girls do that too where like girls will like do like a certain hair like way they flip their hair will like lit and they'll land like perfectly and like um exactly the way they want it to and like that just shows like how how much not only how much work these guys put in or girls for that matter um but also, like, how much, like, just, like, practice you have to do to get that right. Like, I can't imagine how many times it took him to probably get this dance to, like, work properly to have it. Like, because think about it. When you're doing something like that and you're throwing it off your shoulder, it could fall all the way down to your arm. Um, it could fall, like, off your arm if you're doing it hard enough. Um, it could just not even, like, come off your shoulder. You know, it's like, so you gotta have, like, the right, like, com like proper movement to be able to get that thing Get this uh, jack to come right off your sleeve and be able to throw it back on there. Like, oh my gosh, just look at this. Just watch how he does this. Um, like, like, this is honestly probably like some like like coolest choreography I've seen from anything K-pop recently. Like, oh my gosh, this is nuts. Like, okay, so I'll show you. I'll show you. Here it is. And then, oh, you don't even see it happen. Oh, but then he brings back in, right back on, like that. Yes. Oh. Oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh, this production is phenomenal. Oh, what's coming now? Okay, Drew has no shirt on. Oh my god. Dang. Oh 
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the use of that. Oh, his natural, like, high, unique voice <laughs> mixed with that auto-tune is just nuts. Oh my god. Holy crap. Uh, I wish I could see what he has written on his, um, on his, um, body here. Can't really tell what it is. Um, I'm wondering if that was, like, CGI'd onto his body, or if that's just, like, like a bunch of, like, fake tattoos or something like that, that they, um, or, like, wash off or something like that. I'm wondering. Um, I think I see... I can't tell because it's, like, written in, like, a fancy, like, font, so I can't read them. Dang, that stinks. I wish I could read them. Anyways, okay, let's go. But here, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's, that's not... Oh. Is that not English? Valbringen? Something? Turum? In? I have no idea what that says. Honestly, if anybody knows, like, what language this is in, or, um can actually, like, read what is actually on his body. If you know, like, the meaning behind that, let me know, because I'm intrigued, because that's actually really cool. Um, let me go back even... Maybe one more. I'll go back one more so we get the whole effect again. I, I want to see this all, all the way from the start. Okay, let's go. So hard. Oh. oh yeah. Oh my gosh, the dance moves are unreal. Going insane to stay sane. That's crazy good. <laughs> oh my gosh, the dancers in the front here. Oh my god, they're like doing like push up dances. Wait, what? That was sick. Oh my gosh, hang on a minute. What? That is nuts. Hang on. Down. Dude, drop, crush, boom, boom, ow, hit my hand. Oh my gosh, this is no song. This is so good. Let's go. Oh, that's a sick vocal effect. Oh man, that is so cool. How? Completely different clothes on? How do you do that? There's a little bit more. Let me make sure I don't miss anything. How? I think we're good. How? Just how? Oh my gosh. This was incredible. That was absolutely amazing. Let me come back and talk to you guys about this. That was so good. Holy moly. I mean, just his unique vocals in general sell you on him as an idol and a person in general. I guess more like an idol and a singer, I should say. Like, his vocal alone will sell you on that. But then, like, he added in this phenomenal choreography. And then the idea of, like, adding in just a little bit of auto-tune here and there to, like, really have that powerful impact every once in a while. Like, that one part I showed you, like, the uh, um, auto-tune in there just ever so slightly. That just was like... Bam, 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 hits you, hits you real good. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm understand the idea behind this song without maybe knowing part one, but from the, from what my understanding is, it sounds to me like he's, cause he was saying something about, um, if, uh, one of the lyrics said something about, I'll keep going, like, even if I'm being mocked or something like that. And I think this is almost to be like a song saying like, set me free from like the, uh, backlash or whatnot. Maybe that he, um, this kind of so we all we I feel like I know that like we all know that you know BTS has gotten backlash for many things. Um, well, the haters are giving them backlash for many silly things like saying they can't rap 
And I'm sure that Jimin's probably gotten made fun of, maybe not made fun of, but maybe they make people point out his voice and say something about his voice. So um, maybe that's kind of like what he's saying, like, you know, you can mock me all you want, but, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to endure that anymore. Set me free from this mockery, I guess, or something. I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm completely off. You guys can let me know. That's kind of like the idea that I'm going with on my head is my own interpretation. But like I said, maybe I need to like listen to, uh, to Set Me Free Part 1, and that'll help me understand the uh, um, meaning behind this song better. So let me know in the comments down below, guys, if you want me to react to Part 1. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. Also, like I said, I think that this is supposed to be part... I think he's supposed to be releasing an album, maybe. So um, if he's going to be releasing an album, I'm super excited for that. So I'll definitely check out some songs from that, too. Um, besides that, guys, please take the time to like, subscribe, and make sure you click on that bell notification and be alerted whenever I start a new group and you are a new band in my channel. Besides that, you guys are awesome. I love you guys. And as always, bye! <laughs>